Hello there everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to add images, videos, 3D printer models, and music to Voices of the Void 0.8.0. Be aware that this tutorial could become outdated in future versions of the game. We go here to settings, and we need to go to game, and open assets folder. So here I'll open up my explorer and it will open up my file explorer here. So, for radio, it's pretty self-explanatory. Any MP3 file, the TV, pretty much the same, but it's gotta be MP4 files. Now, to the most complicated for most people is meshes. Now, these have changed a lot in every update. And for 0 0.8, they have went and they have pretty much organized um, how 3D models work. So you would take and make a folder, and for your 3D printer model, you would keep the same name as the folder, and same for the image, except you would add diffuse. I will actually leave a video in the description that further explains other properties for certain models and what you would need to name them and how they work as I am not too much of an expert on this but you can actually get quite a few models from the official Voices of the Void discord. You can go to the Voices of the Void 3D printer channel right here and people will post their printer models. My internet's slow right now so it's not going to load very much but you can scroll through here you can even search there's also one other place. This is the Voices of the Void printer GitHub. I don't believe this is updated anymore. However, it does have quite a few models in here. You'll just have to update these models yourself for the new version of Voices of the Void. And I will actually go ahead and just find a model to download. <sighs> we'll, we'll, uh... Yeah, we'll take this. Why not? Go to our downloads, open our zip, and extract it. Cut, and you would go here, open your explorer. I've actually saved this right here. I've pinned it so I can always come back to it. You'll go to your meshes, printer, and you will paste them in. But now, you need to make a new folder, and you can actually click the rename button here, and hit Control c to copy the name, and Control v over the folder to rename it, and then you can cut and paste your files in here. So you take your PNG here, and type diffuse underscore. And now, your model should be ready. So we'll actually go start a game, sandbox, go here. So you can always open a sandbox map to properly test your 3D printer models. So you open it, and the one that I made was R Gem Spider. Once you click on it, assuming you did everything correctly, it should automatically generate a new file. You can open your properties config to check, and it should have added this right here, this little Word document here. And this is where you can change all of your different properties of the model. Again, I have linked a video that goes into much better detail. Print it. And since we're in sandbox, we can skip. And our model is properly ported to 0.8 Voices of the Void. If you're playing in previous versions, I would suggest looking at older tutorials. Images are in several categories. Stickers, rugs, posters, paintings, and flags. All of these can be PNG images. However, these images have to be properly configured, and if they are not made properly, they will not work. So, I have an app on my phone. Um, it's actually free on the Google Play Store. Uh, it's called IBIS Paint X. 
it's basically a free uh, drawing app. However, I found that the format that it creates PNG images is actually uh, the correct form for Voices of the Void. Unfortunately, I was unable to properly link my computer to my phone, so I'm doing it the old-fashioned way. We can go to my gallery here. We can hit the plus button. Ignore any and all ads. You'll see here this is a free version of the app, so expect ads, but it does work for me. Again, if it doesn't work for you, you can always use your own methods. Um, we can take, uh, let's say, this silly little image here. You can just hit cancel here, that doesn't matter. You can take and this little arrow, you hit that and save image. And then if it's a transparent PNG, you'll flip that right there. Make sure it's blue, but mine's not. So you just hit OK. And it will save your image. You can email this, send this to the Discord, whatever it takes to get this image to your computer. However, I personally like to take a very uh, long cord Put that in and now the phone is connected to the computer so now that we're back on the computer we can open our internal storage go to our pictures and look for the correct image you may have to open the image file however it should be your most recent one just make sure you know which one it is if you have to name it on your phone but here it is we can cut it we can go to Voices of the Void, Assets, and if you want it to be a painting, you can put it there. Poster, rug, sticker, doesn't matter, but we'll go through paintings for an example. Now, there's four painting types here. You've got your horizontal painting, your square painting, your table painting, and your vertical painting. Square is perfectly square, horizontal is a horizontal shaped painting, and vertical is vertical. Table is the tiny little painting that fits on a table. So keep that in mind. We can go here and you paste our new image. We can rename it to our gem spider. Whatever you want to name it, that's up to you. It's better for sorting through your files. So now we check Voices of the Void, get our painting, use, and you may have to refresh the game. And look at that, upon loading into the game, I've immediately got the new picture. However, if that's not the case for you, you can always use and click on the image that you want. This new update's very nice. It allows you to very easily choose what picture you want. I really like it. Works super well. And hopefully this helped you out. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day, everybody. Oh, shoot, it's hey, hey, what the freak?